but people wanted more from Jay-Z. He was like, okay, no problem. Streets is watching. Streets is watching. So Streets is watching was going to be a series of videos, almost like a video album. Uncut, uncensored, straight to the point, Brooklyn, hardcore. Def Jam would not do Streets is watching. So me and Jay put up our own money. Just going to shoot it and keep everything raw and real. Keep it street. Did one video in a strip club, one video hustling in a small town in Jersey somewhere. I remember seeing Jay-Z coming out the hotel and he had the hat cocked to the side. The pictures that you already knew about Jay just came to life for you. That was like ultimate, ultimate hip-hop. Totally block out everybody's memory of sunshine. That definitely gave me a sense of his street cred. Once we put our streets in watching, streets embraced us right back again. People knew, like, hey, he's not that crossover rapper. Everybody wanted to get that streets was watching tape. Everybody watched it. Everybody wanted a copy of it. It was like a ghetto smash. It made them ghetto superstars. After streets was watching, we went on a Puff Daddy tour. And I thought that was like the best thing. I was like, yeah, like y'all going out with Puffy? Oh, this is gonna be so big. They had this big production and people were flying and talking about people in a wave and all these suits and we just got on there with our bulletproof vest did like a small set and just kept it real gutter. We printed up these jackets. I guess we felt like rock stars. But a lot of things was going bad on the tour. Sometimes we have dressing rooms, like in bathrooms. They'd be split in half, like, you know, usher one side, us on the other side. We were like trying to fight to get extra bag of Doritos in our dressing room. They were shortening our time. We would come out, you know, the venue wouldn't be filled. It's like, yo, why are we here? <laughs> Halfway through the tour, Jay just like left the tour. We got to New York, I was like, I'm done. But while we were on the tour, we heard the beat for Hard Knock Life. Pink Capri was DJing, the kid was opening up for the Puff Daddy tour. He played Hard Knock Life at the beginning of all the shows. It was so catchy. Everybody was jamming to it. I was like, oh. And Jay was like, oh. Baby. So I went and called 45 King. I was like, I'll give you 10,000 cash tomorrow for that beat. Uh-huh. I got him that money. You know what I mean? We got him that money. Uh-huh. I bought the tape to the studio. We laid down the vocals one time. We did it one take. We knew. He laid the rhyme. He was like, it's a rap. I'm from the school of the hard knocks. It appealed to everybody, like to the suburbs, to the streets. Even though it was any, it just felt like a street uh -huh. anthem. Yeah. It was this popcorny thing, but it personified what we go through in the hood. Steady kisses, we get kiss. But that's it. That's Marcy. That's the hood. That's us. All of a sudden, that, that record hit the streets, and boom, that thing just skyrocketed. We had that same vibe with that whole album. And I was like, you know, we got four records that are hot. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. Money ain't a thing. Money ain't a thing. Hard knock life. <laughs> Can I get it? All those records led up to the Hard Knock Life album. They came out number one, stood number one for like five weeks. It sold over five million albums. You never think you'll sell 500,000, never think you'll sell 100,000. And let alone sell five million records, that's like unbelievable. Hard Knock Life was a turning point in terms of people knowing about them. That's when the audience changed from all do-rags and, and blunt smokers and, you know, drug dealers. White America went and bought it. Hard Knock Life wins them the Grammy, wins them the MTV Award. Jay-Z featuring Jowl and It wasn't like any type of hip-hop he was hearing at the time. It's like the world just opened up to him. Jay-Z Jay and Biggs sit down and talk, we need, we need to do our own tour. And at that time, it was very hard to do a tour with that much hardcore rap. So many people had said that it was never going to work. It was the first tour of its kind, all hip-hop, headliners. There was no r and I was like, we're going to go out, we're going to go out, you know, stake some kind of precedent for the culture and open some doors. Yeah, 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 yeah,
we're gonna go out, we're gonna go out, you know, stake some kind of precedent for the culture and open some doors. Yeah, 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 I was just amazed. I actually see people screaming, girls fainting, and I love you, JV, I love you. And I'm just looking at them, and I'm like, wow, he makes people feel good. Like, and that was amazing to me. Hey, I was being for real. <laughs> He put on a bigger tour than Puffed It was unprecedented. There was no incidents of violence. We sold out almost every show. Oh, yeah! So that alone opened eyes and opened doors for a lot of other hardcore hip hop artists. They said it could never happen. Too much happening. What's the last show? Right? Could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with me. I appreciate that. Jay and Dane and Biggs really changed the game. They set a different standard in hip hop. We've always just knocked down doors for the culture and community. We did the tour ourselves. We put together the company ourselves. We did rockwear ourselves. That's the anthem. Get your damn hands up. Jay living proof of what you could become. That all people from the ghetto do have a chance. The main lesson is not to give up. Don't give up. What you wish for may come true. I do this for my culture to let them know what it look like when it when a roaster. Jay Z will never be the number ten or eleven rapper. He will never allow himself to fall to the bottom of the pot. This is his blood. He cannot lose. He cannot lose. Anything he does, he wants to be number one at. It's not like I think I'm number one and I'll try to pretend I'm number one. It's I am number one. You ready, B?